Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, and so it begins, team of the season, who you guys are going to get a bunch of videos on this channel. But ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be checking out the new team of the season Chiesa card. Uh, I just checked out his stats, and it looks like I want to give him a marksman chemistry style to try him out first. Uh, because of the dribbling, shooting, as well as the physical boost on the card. So, with Chiesa, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at a card that is five foot nine, high high work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. In regards to in game player traits, he doesn't have the outside foot shot trait, nor does he have the finesse shot trait. In game attributes is at ninety seven acceleration, ninety four sprint speed, which is a good cutoff. You don't necessarily need to improve that. Uh, base card stats for shooting is set up very nicely because he has ninety nine shot power with the already very decent shooting stats on the card. He's at ninety two. 85 for finishing at 95 long shots, 83 for boys with 85 composure. With the marksman chemistry style, we are going to be aiming to improve his dribbling as much as possible, as well as the shooting, while giving him some extra physical as well, because, you know, with a card like this at 81 strength, working with the average body type, we need to obviously see what that is like in game. Base card stats for passing is obviously pretty good for an attacking player that's going to be playing in most of the attacking areas anyways. Uh, the Juve links obviously works out really nicely for the types of players you can actually link with him in your team. Uh, base card stats for dribbling, we do have to improve that as much as possible considering the fact that he does have the average body type. Now, some people are deciding between the marksman or the finisher chemistry style. The finisher chemistry style wouldn't necessarily be bad either. Either because of the fact that you are going to be boosting the balance, which I feel like could potentially be uh, a very important thing as well. So uh, I personally think that the finisher might make the most sense. But since people are mostly choosing the marksman, I want to see what his base characteristics are like just with that chemistry style. Because I like that they also improve the attacking positioning of the card to a 97 while working with the high, high work rates. Right. So a couple things to consider uh, when it comes to Chiesa. Right. He's got 92 stamina, which is perfect to work with the high, high work rates that he has. He has 80 defensive awareness, which is actually decent playing the left in position, coming back in the defensive area, right? So definitely pretty nice there, too, if you want to use him there. Um, and then last but not least for physical base card stats is not bad, but we are working mostly with the 92 for strength. So uh, from what I'm seeing with Chiesa's card, uh, he actually looks like he'd make a really good left mid, right? So his original position in a nice little 4-4-2 uh, left wing position. Now, the base stuff that we usually try out when when it comes to these players in game is shooting dribbling and attacking ai right so with chiesa we'll be using him in the attacking position so four one two and two uh we'll be using him up top uh gonna switch that there frank ribery cristiano ronaldo cristiano ronaldo up top hey, phew, excuse me vidal we're gonna switch off to the left side here because that way I can put Palacio off to the right side here. And then we're going to have Chiesa up top. So since he is a right-footed player, I want to try out his left foot from time to time as well with dribbling. So, uh, yeah, the only instruction we're going to have on these two is just balanced. And we will take it from there. So, yeah, let's go check out the card. Okay, so we'll switch to the 4 one 2 and 2 Let's see what the vibes are with this card. Oh, let's go, Chiesa. Good little finish right there. Gets into the right area at the right time. 83 volleys, right? That 83 volleys is a good cutoff in this game, right? As long as you have the shot power and the composure, it's perfectly fine. It's a nice little volley right there. Do you angle yourself upwards? Now, do you adjust downwards? Nice, good. It's the base stuff you need to see, man. Obviously, with these team of the season cards, it's gonna they're gonna be able to do a lot of the really good uh, base stuff for sure. See, aggressive on the attack, goes back really quickly. Probably going to open up the space here for me in the middle. He does, you see? Good. Touch, shot power. Yeah. That one, I have to put more shot behind it. More shot power behind it. Good adjustments constantly. So you see how he makes that angled run upwards? Those runs are actually really good. They're not actually intended for you to make that pass, but it's just a very good disguise run that they actually make right there. Because in a situation like this, I'm using like a 4 one 2, and 2 right? So one of my center mids is the ones that actually should be utilizing that middle space once Chiesa overcommits that area. This is what you do, right? You open up the space like this. I'll go for a near pulse, but not really the finish right there. Yeah, angled upwards, adjust to my dribbles. Does he go downwards here? Okay, so over here in this situation, he stays in the middle, which I'm perfectly fine with because it's working with my center mid in that area. 
I could definitely feel with Chiesa that he's definitely a player that you mostly want to use in that actual original position, like left mid, right mid. Uh, he definitely feels like he belongs in those areas. Even if I want to use him as a cam, he feels like he'd be nice there too because of the high, high work rates that he has. I'm a big fan of high, high in the cam position. Shot power is really nice. Shot power is really nice. You see the uh, little angled run that he makes upwards? It's nice, man, because it drags the person out, and then you could go for like a first-time fake shot downwards. Okay, so I put way too much shot power behind that one. So I the reason why I put more shot power is because you kind of want to guesstimate how the finishing is going to affect the shot power in that area. So I kind of got a good idea of it now. You don't really have to put too much into it because of how good it is. Okay, so for this next game, I want to try him out in the cam position this time. Because like I said, I really like to have the high, high work rate of players in that area. Um, so we'll see how he plays there. I do like him as a striker, but you can actually feel, like I said in the game, that he belongs in that uh, left mid, right mid position in a 4-4-2. Definitely right mid, because he doesn't have any of the meta traits of finesse shot or outside foot shot. But it's that shot power, man, that's really, really helpful once that player gets into that area with really good stamina and the high, high work rate. So... Okay, so you are noticing with his dribbling that the average body type is going to affect the card in regards to how he dribbles across the pitch. That is going to be a noticeable thing. But with this card, his dribbling is not bad. You can definitely compensate for it really well. Ah, I see. So there, he's registering with Ronaldo in regards to like the attacking AI stuff. So when he stops there, Ronaldo makes that run afterwards. Finesse shot Chiesa. Nothing there. Yeah, the way that he moves across the pitch, he definitely belongs on the sides for sure. Like, you can use him as a striker and he'll definitely be fun there, but the high, high work rate, is just, it just feels really perfect for that side position. Yeah, you can see that he constantly goes into the side position, which is something that I personally don't prefer in that cam spot. Like, it's okay, but it would ask, it would have to depend on the strikers that you have. But it's not a, a regular personal preference of mine. I could have made that right there. Adjust there. Adjust back down. He goes back into the cam position here. We'll go for a finesse shot. Not bad, but I don't expect it to be crazy. Okay, good. He adjusts his run again. See how he adjusts to the side again? This is where I wouldn't use him as a cam, personally. Oh, it doesn't generate the shot power there. It's so weird. I thought he would in that area. Nice. Good goal right there, Chiesa. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, Guys, if it was me, I would just give him the finisher. Yeah, I would just give him the finisher. Improve the balance as much as possible. Don't expect to be able to improve the dribbling that much because of the average body type that he does have. Uh, it's not a huge nuisance on the card, but obviously in this game, uh, it's still going to affect them regardless, right? So just uh, food for thought. So you can tell just from that like initial turn right there, like you can see it affecting it a little bit, but you just have to compensate for certain areas. Nice, good job, Chiesa. His player should have got that ball for sure, but you guys know how those uh, how those uh, directionals come off. Good little tackle right there. Yeah, it, it's a card you use at like left mid, right mid for sure, guys. I wouldn't use him through the middle, although you can for sure. Uh, but with the average body type, it just wouldn't be as big of a nuisance to have through the uh, side positions. Okay, switches off to his left foot right there in that situation. I kind of want just to go for a, a regular right-footed strike, but... Oh, not bad on the finesse shot. So even though he doesn't have the traits, guys, the shot power is definitely very, very helpful for sure. Oh, he got the bounce there too, man. The bounce would have been perfect in that situation. 
Yeah, you notice with his skill moves and stuff, it's a little bit heavier too because of the uh, average body type that he has. Good adjustment, first time. That's not too bad. All right, guys, so final verdict on Chiesa's card. So let's talk about how he performs in game. So for me personally, with this card on the finisher chemistry style, it would definitely be the best choice in my opinion. Now, the reason why you want to do this for this card is because you want to be able to boost his dribbling as much as possible to compensate for the average body type that he has in game. But not only that, because he has really good base card stats in the shooting department in certain areas, his shooting is actually really nice given the certain situations. Because obviously with gameplay, it's going affect the way that you take your shots in certain situations right but the fact that he does have 95 long shots with 99 shot power it's definitely very helpful regardless of the fact that he doesn't have the two in-game traits of outside foot shot trait or the finesse shot trait because again the shot power being high is very very important i tell you guys this all the time in every review because it's really nice to have now for me personally uh when it comes to Kiesa's card i wouldn't personally use him in the middle you definitely can and he could do work for you there but this card definitely belongs in that left mid right mid position uh you know by default because of the high high work rates and 92 stamina he'll definitely get himself into really good situations to score some opportunities uh the thing that you do or will notice with this card is that with the dribbling on the finisher chemistry style you will notice that his base characteristic is not going to be the most responsive because it's not a lean it's not a unique body type it's an average and average body type does affect these cards uh in regards to responsive dribbling but it's not a huge nuisance because it's still pretty good in game. So uh, it's not a card that I would personally do. I think the card for 254k as an SBC with future things that could be released if they release like 81 pluses and all that stuff isn't bad. Uh, but it's not a card that I would personally do uh, myself. But still very fun to use because Chiesa is an uh, excuse me Chiesa is an absolute class player uh, in real life. Love watching him play. For me, he's Juve's top two player at the very least because people always like to bash Ronaldo but the guy scored as many goals as he has this year so um yeah he's a really cool card it's not a card that I would personally do but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this review I'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys